already my YouTube audience out there probably can't even hear me uh, but uh, no, I haven't done a video in quite some time and I haven't been able to get the camera that is built into this crappy laptop to work so hopefully this weekend I'll be getting a new camera maybe um, we'll see uh, but I guess now that I got this camera going hopefully I can get some imagery of some of the stuff that's been going on in the grow room and uh, I apologize for my funky hair it's kind of dry and just want to be crazy today so on that note let's get going on the uh, plants and uh, I do have some bad news um, a lot of the plants that I did put out um, into the garden uh, last weekend decided that you know it was going to storm in my area down uh, Mississippi Tennessee ish um, in that area so as most of you may have heard uh, the weather in that area was pretty bad <coughs> and uh, well unfortunately uh, about my entire vegetable garden got washed away uh, and then two weeks prior to that uh, considering the field behind my house as you may have seen in previous videos uh, the guy back there decided that he wanted to spray herbicide uh, and it pretty much killed everything that I had planted then so I'm uh, I'm going on my third planting now and uh, I don't know uh, it's supposed to get like 10 inches of rain where I am this weekend so uh, might turn out might not who knows hopefully hopefully after this really bad rain spell uh, I'll be able to get the garden tilled up one more time that'll make like the fifth time I'm doing it uh, get some new stuff out there uh, maybe I can water it lightly the day I plant it make everything nice and kinda settle everything down and who knows but for some odd reason whenever I keep planting plants out there they croak after like three days so I don't know but anywho let's get to the grow room update shall we let's do it Okay, so as we can see, I have more beans, and I've actually put out like 20 bean plants, uh, but quite a few of them are outside. And this one you can tell is uh, not very close to the light, because uh, it's kind of tall and lanky. Uh, this one's about the same way, but I don't know. It's uh, kind of getting there, I guess. Uh, so those are those. Um, can you hear me? Probably not. There we go. Now I'm back here. Uh, the the trays that I had. Uh, just scoot down here. There we go. Uh, the trays that I had that I was using. Uh, you may have seen them. I don't know if I showed them or not. Uh, they were uh, black trays. Uh, that were like came with uh, like 72 uh, cell. Uh, seed starting trays, uh, and you just like fill the bottom up with the water and put the lid on it, and da 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 da. -da there you go. Well, <coughs> all the ones, all the the corn that I tried to get out of there, uh, decided that uh, it didn't really want to come out too easily because the roots grew out through the bottom of it. So, uh, about half of the corn plants that I pulled out of there uh, had root problems, uh, bruised roots, fungal roots, you name it, they had it. So. Uh, what I did is I figured I could get 45 Dixie Cups, these little suckers here, everybody knows what those are, uh, into those trays if you pack them in there right. Uh, get those in there, and I'm finding that the plants, if kept watered, maintained, and lit properly, that's a key word there because I already lost like one tray because I kind of slacked off. Uh, I was sick for a couple of days, uh, so I kind of slacked off and uh, lost a tray of corn, but that's okay, because we replanted it, came right back up in three days, we're all good. Uh, but anywho, uh, I find that these Dixie Cups work a little bit better, actually not a little bit, quite a bit better. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, works really good. Uh, even though you don't get 72 in there, you know, if you run three or four trays, works really dandy, uh, and quite honestly, uh, after about 200 corn plants, 
or 160 corn plants. You know, it's probably good enough for the person that's wanting to just put a little corn in the freezer. Uh, for me, that's not good enough. I need about 400 corn plants uh, because I take them dry and I take and uh, freeze and do all kinds of stuff with everything. So, you know, I try to get as much as I can, but, you know, we'll see. And I'm having a problem with rabbits. Other than shooting them, I don't know what I can do. So if anybody has, like, any special remedies for rabbits, let me know on that one, too, because this is looking like the only solution. Anywho, that's the corn, and it's coming along pretty good. I can't get it out, though, because it keeps freaking raining. Stop raining! Please! Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> Uh, cucumbers. I got some cucumbers growing here. Look at that. There's my wife. Uh, shameless endorsement for uh, Phoenix, or uh, not Phoenix, yes, Phoenix. Phoenix, that's who I'm looking for. Phoenix flashlights. Uh, this is a Phoenix TK10. Uh, love this light. It's incredible. Alrighty, there you go. Uh, cucumbers. I've got like six cups with like two plants in each and uh seems to be doing really good there <coughs> uh my lettuce kind of funkadelic here uh i have no clue why it's like that uh it's actually like really uh floppy and lanky uh, I don't know if that is a lack of light problem. Let me get back down here. I need to learn to sync. Hopefully I'll be getting a new camera soon, so bear with me. Uh, but I don't know if that's because they're in and out of the light and really far away from the light or what. <coughs> so those are coming along. But I did eat some the other day, uh, and it was quite delicious. A lot better than the store-bought crap. And... Uh, Yes, I enjoyed it thoroughly on my uh, on my steak and s chicken sandwiches. Love it. <coughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I actually have a thing of lettuce over there, but I don't know if I can turn the laptop without the camera screwing up. And I can't really pull it out of there because it's kind of big. But I can tell you uh, that it's about gay far from one of those humongo lights over there. Uh, it still hasn't come up, so I don't know, maybe I planted it a little too deep. Is it possible to roast seeds? I don't know. Uh, I really just felt like doing that. But anywho, uh, that's pretty much what's been going on for the past couple weeks. I have another grow room. The old one, the little one, uh, is up and going and rocking away, producing stuff. Uh, and I got a minute to go. Okay, so, I got that one producing stuff. I got, uh... Uh, actually, I have a little more than a minute, but whatever. Uh, I got that one producing stuff. I got radishes and lettuce and tomatoes and da 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 starting up in there. And it's going great and yada yada. Uh, I figured that two of the super duper big bulbs in that little bitty grow room will grow radishes like nobody's business. Also, it'll grow bean plants like nobody's business. So, phew. Yes, that is what's been going on. So, that is whatever today's date is, the 30th? Right around there, close enough. Uh, that's the 30th of April. Uh, so, hope everybody's doing a heck of a lot better than I am, because I'm doing pretty crappy in as far as that stuff goes. So, there you have it. A practice and enjoy, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Alright, later folks.